Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the GQ Jedi. If you're not already subscribed to me, blast that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. Now some of you guys have been asking me to do a collection tour. Um, my collection is kind of extensive. Um, it probably take perhaps too much time in a video, so I thought we'd break it up. And today we're going to start with one of my curios and uh, give you a little taste of uh, some of that good old classic Kenner. All right, and here we have a trio of sand people, Tuscan Raiders, looking like uh, like they can handle anything that's going to come at them. Definitely love the look of these fellas, um, just so menacing. Uh, and of course, we have a Jawa behind them with uh, a power droid harassing the poor Gonk droid. Gonk never gets a break. And on the other side, we have uh, another Jawa next to R2 and 3PO. Imagine that, a Jawa by some droids. Interesting, isn't it? Um, but of course, as you guys know, this is a cantina playset. Um, you got Chewbacca there. You got Greedo in the back with Han Solo in the infamous shootout. Such an iconic moment in the original Star Wars movie. Um, and then you've got the cantina band members behind them on the backdrop. Um, you got a uh, red snaggletooth kind of waiting for his drink, waiting patiently. Got farm boy Luke, looking very naive. And of course, Walrus Man and Ben Kenobi. And look at Walrus Man, look at those eyes. He doesn't even have any clue what he's about to get into, what he just started. He just picked a fight with, well, one of the best Jedis in the entire galaxy. And things are not gonna end well for him, as we all know. And then of course, we got my man Hammerhead, just kinda chilling. He's just kinda looking around, maybe he's He's checking out the situation. Who knows? Can't ever tell with him. He's kind of a interesting character. Who knows what's on his mind? But I, he's kind of like the would-be bartender behind the table, even though the bar is technically behind him. Um, but I still kind of pretend like he's serving up drinks because, you know, why not? Um, awesome backdrop on this cantina playset. I did do a review on this playset. I'll leave a link in the description down below for you guys so you guys can check that out at your leisure. Um, this playset's awesome. I had to put it on the top shelf. It just made sense. It's kind of the start of the start of the movie in a way. And if we move on down to the second shelf of this cabinet, we've got the stormtroopers with the dewback. Love the dewback. It's actually one of the first pieces I acquired in my collection. Um, of course, he needs a rider on top, the reptilian uh, mount, steed, what have you, that they rode through the Tatooine deserts in search of the droids. Um, and of course, the land speeder, which is an iconic vehicle um, from the original movie. Got farm boy Luke and Ben Kenobi piloting. And of course, we have R2-D2 and C-3PO riding shotgun right in the back and I do try to match up the uh, you know try to match it up with the box art um, I think that's always fun a little recreation on my shelf here I think a lot of collectors like to do that if they have the box and even if they don't still try to do it anyway if they remember um, got a Tuscan Raider here next to my die cast land speeder um, I actually got this land speeder with this box um, I'm sorry, the, the, this land speeder I got separately and the die cast land speeder I got with the, um, the three and three quarter inch land speeder box that was in a lot. So I got lucky. Um, and of course, like I said, I got a Tuscan Raider there just kind of hanging out, kind of causing some trouble. Um, yeah, this is such a great setup. I, I just, it's so iconic, most sizely, um, you know, just a great, great aesthetic, and of course the dewback. I mean, who doesn't love the dewback? I love the dewback. Now this box here is a little beefed up. Um, she's seen some some action, as you guys can see on the corners there. Look at that, it's pretty shoddy. But a beefed up box is better than no box at all, in my opinion. I mean, it's Kenner, guys. It's Kenner. I'll take it. I'll take any any box I can get. I can always upgrade down the road. Um, love this shelf. So so awesome. I just. It's a great look. Um, down on the third shelf, we have another Jawa harassing yet another power droid. 
like I said before, Gaunt can't get a break. And then we have the droid purchase set up in front of my remote control sand car, which is one of the most epic, coolest pieces in the entire Kenner line, in my opinion. Um, and yes, this is a 12-inch uh, Jawa. Uh, he's missing his bandolier and his blaster, but I put him back there. I will complete him at some point, but it made sense to stick him on this Jawa shelf. Um, yeah, this is, this is my little droid setup, guys. Um, got a Death Star droid. We did see him in the movie. He was inside the sand crawler, so I thought, hey, I could stick him out here. That makes sense. Um, you know, he's a cool-looking droid. And, of course, we have an R5-D4. Not a red bar, unfortunately, but still, it's R5. I mean, he may or may not have a bad motivator. I'm not sure about that one. Um, and, of course, the Jawa just causing trouble. Like, Jesus, these droids. This must suck to be a droid on Tatooine. No joke. Um, 3PO. And, of course, you got R2. And we have farm boy Luke in the back just kind of, you know, He's uh, surveying the purchase to be had. And uh, we know how that worked out for the droid. So the rest is history, as they say. But this sand crawler is an amazing vehicle. Such an awesome toy by Kenner. One of my favorite pieces in the line. So rad. Um, just truly an iconic toy to have. Um, definitely is its own centerpiece. I mean, <laughs> I don't need to put these droids here for this sand crawler to look dope. But... You know, I, I like to recreate scenes from the movie in my displays. That's why I have these guys set up out here. And uh, it's just so much more fun when the toys are loose. I love, you know, I love card backs. I love things boxed. But when things are loose like this, you can really play with them. And on the bottom shelf, we have my Sandcrawler remote. That is the remote for this little beauty right here. Um, so I kind of just stuck it down there. And this is the Droid Factory. This is a more recent uh, acquisition for me in my collection. The last place that I needed actually to complete the playset line. Um, got a little Jawa here, running shop here, just you know keeping tabs on all the droid bits. This playset probably wasn't a big hit back in the day for some kids because you know, it's you know droids. But I mean, look at all the bits. Like these axles right here, often are hard to uh, get if you're finding a playset loose. Those little um, pins often are missing. And of course, these hydraulics, these hoses are a, a problem. They go into all the um, all the various droid pieces so you can build them. And I did a review on this play set, and I will leave a link in the description so you guys can check that out. And of course, the man himself, R2-D2, which is an amazing droid. Love him. This is the one with the third leg. It's very different from this little fella right here. A drastic difference it's instant um, you know you instantly know that, oh that's the droid factory one and that's the regular one um, it's all about that third leg which really seals the you know the look together it really brings it all together um, as we do see his third leg throughout the movie um, but this uh, this set's pretty sweet I mean I do I have appreciation for it all these little bits and bobs um, it is pretty cool got the uh, crane here of course to hoist up any droid parts and um yeah it's fun man i i like this place that a lot of people are kind of scoff at it but i i dig it um and of course the box always nice to have the box an original box um 1977 20th century fox film corporation and i absolutely love the old school logo right there with luke and leia just great so awesome and yes, age is five and up, but look at that box. It looks like a five-year-old play with this box. Look how beat up it is. Um, I'll probably be upgrading this box at some point, um, but for now, she she displays fine, so I'm happy to have one in my collection. And this Droid Factory set is complete. I actually do have all the instructions and even the little plastic bags that some of the pieces come in. So to me, it was, uh, it was a great um, acquisition for my collection and you know it's a necessity for the a new hope line of toys i really dig this entire uh tatooine collection here the cantina the land speeder the dewback um and of course the epic mighty sand crawler all of course you know colored orange uh even the droid factory this was the scheme that kenner went with very retro very very new hope um 
so yeah i just wanted to show you guys this cabinet this is one of my new hope cabinets and i thought you guys would like to take a closer peek at uh, what i've got in here so thanks for watching thanks for tuning in today guys i hope you enjoyed the little mini tour i promise i'll be back with another one if you guys like this video give the like button a thumbs up because it does help out the channel and if you've not done so blast that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any valuable star wars content and remember collect or collect not there is no try <laughs>